we are preparing to collect the tissue sections. First, we will prepare a water bath. Clean with RNase away before using. Fill the water bath to the brim with MillaQ or Ultra Pure water. Set the water bath temperature to 42 degrees Celsius and let it stand for at least 30 minutes. Next, we will prepare an ice bath. Fill an insulated ice bucket with ice and water. Place sectioning probes, brushes, or forceps in the ice bath. For sectioning at 5 microns, place the tissue blocks in the ice bath and ensure that the tissue part is fully submerged. Incubate on the ice bath for 10 to 30 minutes. The incubation time depends on the tissue type and extent of dehydration. Extent of dehydration depends on the processing method and the age of the tissue block. Allow sufficient time in the ice bath to ensure proper hydration. Monitor the exposed tissue every 5 to 10 minutes during the ice bath incubation. While the tissue blocks are in the ice bath, we will prepare the blades and water bath. Carefully wipe off the excess oils from a 35X ultra disposable blade using a laboratory wipe with 100% ethanol. Let the ethanol evaporate before proceeding. Always use new blades for sectioning each tissue type. Secure the blade in the disposable blade holder of the microtome and place the knife guard over the blade to minimize the likelihood of injury. Ensure that the clearance angle is set to 10 degrees. Ensure that the water bath is set at 42 degrees Celsius and is free from bubbles and particulates by gliding a laboratory wipe over the water surface. Repeat this step between sectioning as necessary. The water bath temperature may need optimization depending on the tissue type. Determine optimal water bath conditions before tissue placement by practicing on plain glass slides. We are ready to collect the tissue sections. The tissue surface should be smooth and shiny and free of bumps at the end of the incubation. Sectioning compression and shattering are usually due to insufficient hydration. In contrast, this tissue block has been overhydrated, leading to inconsistent section thickness. Place the tissue block in the specimen clamp and align it with the blade. Set the microtome to the section thickness specified in the Visium Cytosist Spatial Gene Expression for FFPE Tissue Preparation Guide. The recommended section thickness is 10 microns for RNA quality assessment and 5 microns for section placement on slides. For tissue blocks with exposed tissue, discard the first few sections and start collecting on the subsequent sections. To collect sections, place the paintbrush tip slightly above and parallel to the blade. Lift the section by lightly touching the edge with the paintbrush while rotating the wheel handle. Place sections inside a pre-cooled microcentrifuge tube for RNA quality assessment. Refer to the Visium Cytosist Spatial Gene Expression for FFPE Tissue Preparation Guide for details. For section placement on glass slides, pick the section up with chilled sectioning probes or a brush. Immediately place it on the water surface of the water bath. Let the section float on the water bath surface until most of it is flat and without wrinkles. The floating time depends on the sample type. If the section is too creased or puckered, let it float longer. Float the section on a plain glass slide for a quality check and confirm under a microscope. In this example, the section has wrinkles, which suggests insufficient floating time. The floating time should be increased. In this example, the section is flat with no wrinkles, which suggests sufficient floating time. The section is ready to be placed on the glass slide. In this example, the section is torn, which suggests the section was left too long in the water bath. The floating time should be decreased. Some tissue sections may take more or less time to smooth out, and some may never be 100% wrinkle-free. The section can disintegrate if it is left for an extended period of time in the water bath. We have collected the tissue sections. Next, we will place the sections on glass slides. 